This project is intake. Intake and tune. So on Saturday, I'm going down to Titan, and I called uh, I called Marty at who who runs a shop at Titan, and uh, said, "Hey, uh, I'd like to come down and shoot video on one of the lifts, you know, because they've they've always offered me their garage is always is always open, and so they offered me to to come down and and put the, any car I ever wanted to on the lift, and we could shoot video, and their guys can kind of help out." Uh, and so when I got the exhaust, I'm like, well, shoot, I don't want to lay on my back and try to put the headers and exhaust on this car. And so I thought it would be cool to like make a video, go down there and do it. And so then we came up with the idea is, why don't we do it live at the open house? You know, that'd be kind of neat. And the only issue with that, uh, so I was going to do the intake, do the tune, do the exhaust, do the headers, do that all, you know, that, that day. It's from like 10 to 4, so just get there early and do it. So I drove down and did a baseline dyno, and while I was on the dyno, I thought, you know, the tune needs time to adapt. And so, um, and the intake, I think, will make a, a slightly bigger difference from a tuning perspective, from an air-fuel perspective, than the headers even would. And so there's going to be like 5,000 people there, so I don't think that I'm going to be able to just drive out and drive back in. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is put the intake and tune and then I'll do the headers and exhausts on Saturday. So I think they're going to be kind of cool to do this project while you make fun of me the whole time. And Brian's standing behind the camera here, by the way. Uh, and, and so I thought that would be cool. Yeah, we're going to see how we're going to see how this goes. It shows what how much of a life I have that I'm just, you know, going to stand here and make fun of you. It's a great life, Brian. I could always, you know, I could all always be, life is great. <laughs> I could always be. Wait, am I complaining again? <laughs> you know, one of the one of the big problems with doing any of this is that well, and I've never done it before, so we got to kind of figure it out. And I, I don't know if it's just the name of Sess Garage. People expect me to know what the heck I'm doing. Let's remove the whatever that's called. Let's remove whatever this is called. <laughs> Get that out of the way. I'm gonna move in for a, for a close up here. All right, so we need a flathead. Oh no, that's a seven millimeter. You know, when I get a new garage, I swear I'm gonna get like a work table. I'm also, while I'm at it, gonna get a new quarter inch drive that's been broken for about six years. Not only is it broken, but Craftsman gives you a free one, even <laughs> free fixed one, I just haven't, haven't done it. So Brian, what we're doing here is we're removing the, uh, whatever this little thing is <laughs> called, and we're gonna move, remove this thing and that thing. And they're going to remove this thing and that yeah. thing, and yeah. everything's going to be uh -huh. great. That's the oh, that's obviously the mass airflow sensor right there. I mean, one that's, of them is actually. Yeah. See, I know that. See, I know, I know this thing over here is the air filter. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. The yellow thing. Yeah. The big yellow thing. So Brian, did you know that blue air filters are allow for much more horsepower? Did you know that? <laughs> no. No, I wasn't aware of that. Did they put a yeah. coating on them? High horsepower coating. Yeah. It's a special coating. I'm really going to try not to um, do any comedy here. It just comes out of me naturally. But Matt, <laughs> we learned that Matt doesn't have a sense of humor. He, no, uh, we learned that your humor is garbage. No, he, he, he watched Jim Gaffigan and didn't find it funny, which I just don't. Yeah, I mean, it's I kind of okay, to. but you, like, you made it out like he's the greatest thing ever in the history of anything. No, I just think he's really funny. That's all. Yeah, I, ugh, I mean, it's just kind of okay. I thought this was supposed to be an American car. Some millimeter stuff. All right, so I need to take this thing out. I know that. Got the little catch Need at the bottom. Freaking Molex plugs, man. That's it. Dad, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That little, there's a red catch down at the bottom. You got to push it down. Got it. You got to pull it out, Brian. You, you don't know what you're out. talking That's about. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so we'll pull that out of the way. I don't need a Phillips. I need a flathead. I need a much bigger flathead than that, but we're going to use it. By the way, I'm just taking stuff off. I didn't actually read the directions. I watched the video the other day. Okay, let's take that thing off. Is this like a, uh, a DIY video or like an actual... Uh... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it was CJ Pony Parts, which is a company, that a retailer. Funny, the guy Bill, who's in all those videos at CJ Pony Parts, I used to work with them, like back in the day when I, for, for like six or three months when I worked for Worldwide Stereo before I moved to Florida. 
I need to call him because I had a Honda Civic, so and he was a Mustang guy. So now I can tell him, Bill, I have him. I have a Mustang now. Aren't I cool? Although this Mustang doesn't go fast in a straight line. It doesn't? Not comparatively. I mean, that's not what it, that's not what it's designed for. So, so in general, you would you would consider yourself to be more of a handling guy. A what? Handling, handling kind of a guy than a. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the driving feel, the experience of of it more than the like want to win a race kind of kind of guy. I mean, I enjoy improving horsepower on, or, you know, maximizing the performance of a car, but going really fast straight, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to me all that much. Probably because I'm just too scared. I get scared, Brian. You actually, you, so, okay, you actually feel scared, like you actually feel, like, legitimately fearful? Yes. I'm wound tightly. That's why I don't like going to the track just too much too much like stress like you're afraid that bodily harm is going to come to you yeah huh yeah you know some people just don't have that that fear there's piece number 1 i think that might go back on but i'm not sure <laughs> so there's the intake our big plasticky thing, and so the new the new JLT intake has. I want to say this is 110 millimeters, and it's 120 or something like that. It's slightly, slightly larger. And the interesting thing about this is it's so the 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 ECU is so sensitive that it notices that that difference, whereas like any other car I've ever put an intake on, you never needed a tune. So. Oh, so the tune actually has to be adjusted based on the in yeah. sli that slight yeah, increase in size. Yeah, because the right the mass airflow sensor will read um, incorrectly. And it'll throw a code. So um, ten millimeter here. I do have a new life goal. What's that? I uh, so you know I bought the bought the Triumph for for Alex his first. Did you buy it for Alex car. or did you buy it for you? No, I. I it was his idea, 100% his I don't, idea. How does he come up with that idea? Does, it wasn't. He just found it. It was on Craigslist. His cousin sent him the link and said, hey, isn't this a cool-looking car? But see, I, see, I feel like you're imparting no. your, you know, you're the 15-year-old Brian on Alex. False. False. Because I haven't even spoken, like, I've kept this in a, in a dark recess of my, of my soul after blowing the engine on my... Yeah, but he listens to the podcast, doesn't he? Yeah, that is true. So that's, that's true. That's, yeah. He wants to be like his daddy. Yeah, well, that's he certainly doesn't express that, if that's the case. Anyway, <laughs> so I've, I'm driving this thing. You know, it's been how many years since I've driven a, a manual transmission? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, man, I, I'm killing it. I am really an amazing driver. Oh, so <laughs> I thought you meant killing the car. No, no, no. no that I'm I just, believe. No, I'm an, incredible, I'm an incredible driver now, and I've realized it once again. Once I'm actually engaged in the, in the, and not distracted. And so my new goal is to uh, out -drive convince me. you that I, I'm safe enough to drive one of your cars at some point. I was just thinking about that today. I'm this like, is going to be a multi. It's it's fine. I mean, I'm committed to the long haul here. This could be a multi-year process, yeah. getting there. But at some point, I was honestly thinking about it. I'm like, you know, we should take the GT3 out, and then I could let Brian drive back. And then I was like, ooh, yeah, no. I mean, like the Triumph is a piece of crap little car. It's got super loose shifting. Put me in a real car, I'd be a monster in a good way. It's kind of an odd, that's interesting. Kind the of an odd body. The throttle body, it's like there's there's like a gap around it. You would think it would seal off, but I guess not. Interesting. All right, so we're doing all right. We already got the thing out. By now is when I start to get overconfident and start to propose, wow, that was really easy. This is going to be great. But just wait, Brian. Just magic's about to happen. I'm waiting. When this thing doesn't fit and I start getting the Dremel out and then the saws all out and then the hammer, it's coming. 
All right, so this JLT, sorry to my buddies at JLT, but this is going, oh, shoot. I was just going to say it was going to go on the bottom. <laughs> no, they got me. They oh, got man. me. This, see, this is why you're not sponsorable. Immediately, as soon as you get something, you, you want to remove the, the label. Oh, shoot. What do you call that? Delabeling? What's the term for that? Debadging. De Debadging. That's right. Debadge. This is not looking good, people. Let's put the box in here. Let's see if this fits. I think there's something wrong with my lens. You look really, really white. I look what? You look really white in <laughs> my lens. I'm pretty sure that's just me. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right. That fits on like that. Oh, we need to remove some of these little rubber pieces off of this thing. At least I'm guessing. Let's read the instructions. Remove the rubber locating spacer. Mounting grommet and insert. The metal insert from the stock air box to install in the JLT. Okay, so that must be this piece here. Yeah, it's this one. I see, so that little piece comes off. Let me put it in here. It seems like I'm resulting in you speaking less than usual, if that's possible. <laughs> no, you just, you know, I just edit the video. What do you want me to say? I, I don't know, like right. really profound stuff. All right, first thing I'm gonna have to do is clean this because this is gonna bother me. See all that junk in there? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. So let's get my orange all-purpose towel. Got the Krenzla. Is it Krenzla or Krenzla? It's Krenzla. Krenzle. It's not la. That's Krenzle. what I've been told by the Germans. Uh, Krenzle. Krenzle. I just realized that, you used, uh, that you used the pro press fittings on this copper. I did not use any fittings. The you plumber a, you did. Did the plumber do that? All right. So we got a clean box. It's, you know what's crazy, man, is like this, this intake is it was $424, you know, which is still a lot of money. But... In comparison, like if this was on BMW, this would be like 2000 Do the same thing. And not only that, but this one actually makes some power. That's why, that's why we call it Bargain Garage. Value. So that, that goes in there. I wonder if that little rubber thing needs to go in here too. What do you think there, Brian? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> no to the rubber thing. Yeah, that, that's, that doesn't go like that because the air intake thing are not even close. Something's not lining up here. Ah. Uh, I can only go in one way. Yeah. It's definitely the cutout shape. Yeah. But I feel like we're not even close. Because look, this, this hole here is lined up dead on no you gotta get you gotta get underneath here and it'll clear so this this will that, that'll push underneath mm. all right this hole here is lined up so it's in i guess this thing just kind of guides in let me read the directions slide the fresh air duct into the air inlet grill. Squeeze the factory inlet slide JLT duct over. I don't know, I don't know what that's saying. Directions are overrated. Now I got the darn box stuck. 
Oh, it definitely goes like that. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we're working with here. This freaking thing goes in there. I wonder I can't get it to fit. Let's try it this way. I bet you the directions tell us to do it this way. I read them. They're uh, not real clear. See, I wonder if taking this little, this little piece off, that might make sense, huh? molded or is it just stuck on there no it's got a clip it's got a clip right here i just meant this plastic piece oh, oh, oh. yeah i think that's glued on there ah! <coughs> dang it <laughs> that's how real men do it brian i don't sorry i don't i don't i don't rock the tom brady snot rocket Ugh. It's a real man move right there. All right, I think we're in. How's that look? Looks 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 flush. I'm gonna get this piece up here like so. Get a good seal. Put the bolt in there. It's like I knew what I was doing already. Look at that. So what can I talk about, Brian? You're supposed to be like giving me something here. This I know. Like, sorry, this I, is not I gonna just. Be a podcast. Yeah, no, this isn't. This is going to be a terrible podcast. Basically, it's just. Basically, it was just me um, videoing you, <laughs> which you could have done by yourself. You're not. You're not. You're not on your game. You I'm not. Like, no, I, I have too much depression going on. <laughs> just uh, thinking about my next drink right now. That's all it is. Just Come on, man. <laughs> you said you had it all worked out. Yeah. No being dramatic all all is well yeah the last part of this is easy well just wait this is the part that's gonna backfire all right let's take the mass airflow sensor off my wife did make an observation that i've also observed in my speech patterns um is that i'm starting to talk like you <laughs> yeah that's it's cool so no it's not it's so annoying which is like uh, what? What are you? What are you saying? Like uh, that sucks and no, it, it, junk. No, it's, no, no. It's mostly the weight. Like, like, um, like in the episode, last episode of the podcast, where you said something about teaks, like that. There's a, you have this little like, uh, just this little way of uh, enunciating words that I've been picking up. Hmm. Yeah, I've noticed it too. I was just hoping nobody else noticed, and she heard it. And just a fanboy, I guess. It's understandable. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, are you um, are you working out today? Yeah, are you going? Did you bring your stuff? Yeah. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I really don't want to work out with you, but it's the only way I'm gonna oh, end up. Let's working see what the out workout today. is. Let's do it. Oh no, I'm fired up. So, how do you feel about being filmed by this camcorder? <laughs> it's not gonna look like crap. What do you think the odds are that it's gonna be totally jacked up and you're not even gonna use it? <laughs> You at least have it in automatic mode, and it's just it doesn't know how to respond to this good of lighting, right. and this white of skin, <laughs> this pearly white skin. You do look a little shiny. I'm sweating over here. Yeah, it's uh, Florida summer's on its way. It's like 87 today. Yeah. What do you think? What is your blue collar expert opinion there? Uh. I mean, this is kind of gapped up, so it's sitting. Just that's why we have a gasket. Yeah, I think it's okay. 
Is that actual carbon fiber? No, this is hydrocarbon. This is poor people carbon fiber, Brian. They don't, nobody makes carbon fiber. I just thought this looked better than black plastic. And the guys were giving me a hard time and it really hurt my feelings that, you know, this is not real. This is some junky plastic. Dang it, man. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, man, Brian. Hatch reducer clamp. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> this is where putting some silicone spray on would help. But I like to do things the hard way. Don dish soap. <sighs> there we go. Why does that not look right? <laughs> Shoot. It's all freaking cockeyed now. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think you're putting that on the wrong side altogether. I think you're right, too. <laughs> Let me see. That's a lot of liquid coming out of one spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Glad I got to be here for literally the worst video ever. <laughs> Sorry, JLT. <laughs> uh, smells like detail spray. Why does it look so cockeyed? It's like all uh, warped. It's odd, doesn't it? I don't want to get it too far on there because then I'm going to get the clamps on. Why is it not like, I mean, it's a freaking circle, right? Not now. So why is it not a circle? This is the worst video I think I've ever done. <laughs> this is the one you're just going to decide to just, like, scrap. I was really hoping you would bring out the brilliance in me, but it's not happening. I just thought this was a more interesting job than it is. All right, so let's talk about, like, what is the what is the desired outcome from this particular modification? Well, I mean, theoretically, it should sound a little different, right? So we should have a little more induc induction noise. But, I mean, you can see there's not a huge difference between this and the other one, right? So the factory one. Um, so hopefully a little bit different sound would be one. Two would be a little bit more power because we have a little bit more airflow. And then three, it looks cool. Me being the poser that I am, looking cool is the most important part of those three right. three parts of the equation. Mm -hmm. You like to you like to rice it up, as the kids say. <sighs> yes. It's not rice if it's a JDM, Brian. Do you know that? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what any of that means. Japanese domestic market. Guaranteed I'm going to have to take it back off because this JLT is going to be crooked. It's going to drive me freaking nuts. That's just a foresh... Oh, that's upside down. That's just a foreshadowing of what's to come. All right. So there we go. Yeah, and so intakes, to me, have always been about looks. I mean, you can tell. I mean, what the heck's the difference between this and that other box we just took out? Not a whole heck of a lot. Enough so that you have to change the tune. Yeah, true. All right, it is touching. So I'm going to have to deal with that in a little bit. Cool, I mean, I think that's it, man. We're on. Yeah, it does look nice. No, it's like, yeah, there's like a piece of paper I could fit in between there. It's cool. Looks like I might be able to move this over a little bit, you think? Speaking of a, of a piece of paper, what happened to the instructions? Did they fall into your engine somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who needs instructions? Yeah, I mean, you've already got a, you've already got a nut rolling around in your frame. What's Where? The oh, yeah. It stopped making noise.
That's a darn good looking filter. I don't care who you are. <laughs> yeah, it's the high power blue filter. Now you can, it's kind of cool. I mean, they, JLT offers different colors. You can pick whichever one you want. I chose blue. Are there, um, I'm, I'm sure air, I'm sure air filter resistance has something to do with. Yeah, I mean, you could choose a paper filter versus oiled. You know, oiled theoretically should last longer. Um, you know, one of the one of the fears with oil is that you suck oil into the you know, into the car, which would be bad. Uh, no podcast for us today. Uh, no, there's definitely going to be. I don't think there's going to be an actual podcast episode out but of this, this is, but this is gold. This but is there radio is gold. going to be a snot rocket montage. <laughs> No, that I'm down in, with. In our future, that is definitely going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be the intro, intro to our, <laughs> to everything. <laughs> just remember, I just shot you a video today, and there's some stuff in there you want me to cut out. Oh. <laughs> this is the first ding. Did it? Yeah. Oh, no. Shoot. The, from my freaking broken thing. Dang it. Looks good though. Yeah, I was I was kind of uh, concerned as it was going in, but, but it actually looks looks pretty nice. It's a good thing I put a towel down right here so that I could drop it two inches to the right and frickin' scratch my bumper. Pretty sturdy. Looks like old Matty knows what he's doing. No blood hands or anything. Boom. I'll just tuck this sucker under here and and I could cut these little things off. You're going to install your optional foam seal? Yep. You better believe it. I want maximum power, Brian. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, why do these things look like they don't fit? <clears throat> you think I need your expert opinion? It's like this tube is too long. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think it looks the best, but I think I'm pretty sure that's how it's designed. What is it? I was like, this is too long. What kind of connector is this? this oh, this is actually a swivel. Swivel 90. And then this thing doesn't freaking stay on. Oh, I no, see. Yeah, it just wasn't in all the way. Yeah. Okay. So the hood is the only thing that seals that box? Yeah. Seems really weird. That was pretty uneventful, though. I was kind of hoping I screwed something up. So, no, well, I mean, you did, you did uh, whack your. Oh, whack yeah, your see, bumper. look at it. That's a good one. All because my freaking broken thing. Show me. Oh, really? Here, I can't even see that. <laughs> I can. Mm -hmm. Hurts my soul. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dang it! Yep, allergy season, March 1st, like frickin' clockwork. I'm not on happy pills anymore. Last year I didn't get allergies. Oh, that is true. You are surprisingly happy for not being on happy pills. Okay, you're, you're the one who's not on the happy pills, and I'm, and I'm sad now. Maybe I could, maybe I could uh, if you have any left over. Ooh, while we're at it, let's put this on. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, what, what is Look that? Look at that. What is it? It's a cover. See, that's the, that's the way that you talk that I'm starting to do as well. The, the, the <laughs> I got that from you. That, look at that. This is what gets you style points at the shows. <laughs> for all the shows you go to the that car, I go to. You go to all the car shows. So look, at my, the look at my stuff. It's a show car. Love it when people ask you, what's your, what are your goals, man? 
What are your goals for your car? My goal is to freaking drive it and buy cool stuff when it comes out. That's the goal. Yeah. Which I, hey, I relate to that emotion now that I'm a, now that I'm a uh, an high performance car owner. Owner of a mean high performance machine. seventy horsepower rust bucket of right brokenness. I'm telling you though, man. You disregard my driving skills, but if you ever saw me on a manual, oh man, I'd blow you away. Well, we're, we're, we're sitting I'm on strong. one right here. Let's see what happens. I'm strong on a manual, bro. It's the one. It's the one area that I would actually that I would actually shock you. That and how how what, bad I actually pushing a clutch in and changing the gears. I'm just saying. What the heck, man? This was supposed to be another 20 second install. It's only the main wire and harness of the car, so no big deal. Well, you'll have to get in there pretty soon to inspect for uh, rodent chewing. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen these uh, phantom cats anywhere. I haven't either. I've never seen them once, but dead animals keep showing up, so. Boom. Look at that. Is that worth 500 bucks or what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't 500 bucks. Let me guess. Let me guess. If it was BMW, it would be. Let me guess. Uh, 42. I have no idea, actually. To oh. be honest with you. Oh. That's, how, that's how much of a baller I am, Brian. I don't even know what <laughs> You don't care. You don't even care. One percenters, man. Look at how cool that is. This is for the show. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. It's a brake master cylinder cover. Let's, All get, right. a, let's get a picture of that. Do you have any skateboarding prow prowess, Brian? No, none. I have no prowess at anything other than air conditioning repair. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, that's debatable. No, these days. repair, I'm good at. Installation is not really my thing, but uh -oh. repair, put me up against anybody. Well, wouldn't you want to be better at installation than repair? No. No, it repair is the sexy part. Uh -huh. Diagnosis, forensic analysis, hmm. building forensics. Huh? What did I do? You have a no camera rule? Yeah, I don't go into camera. Oh. Working hard as usual. What did I do? You thought Ryan was coming and was in the podcast? We're doing the yeah, worst be... podcast and video we've ever done. <laughs> Times a hundred. So uh -huh. I'm, look at all these snot rockets over that here. That is literally, see all this snot on the ground? That's literally. It's March 1st. It's freaking allergy time. I'm not on happy pills anymore. You're so. not doing that in front of everybody. Yeah, on the oh, camera. Yeah. Ryan's on camera. Ryan's getting it. I'm making a sh I'm making a snot rocket montage. Here you go. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show this to the world right here. Look at this. Look at that. That's all snot in the obsessed carport. Brake master cylinder cover. Is that actually an aftermarket thing? Yep. Yeah. We're, we're we don't like really know what we're doing. Be real honest. How'd you talk me into coming out here? I don't know. He doesn't talk me into anything. He, he just tells me to do things. He tells me we need to do things. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I need that piece. Oh. <laughs> did it fall? Hey, did it fall on the frame rail? Something else clanging around in there? I'm pretty sure. That's exactly where it fell. No. Are you serious? No, it didn't. This just added like an hour to my life, or uh, to this. Well, we got a big dragonfly here. Idiot! How do I gotta do this crap, man? Just freaking. Just, just pay attention. This kind of crap doesn't happen. Gosh, it sounds horrible. Yes, I got it. Boom. All right, let's put it on before I put that back together. Does that, the frame rail's not open there, is it? No. Mm -mm. No, I didn't think so. Just need some epoxy. Looks good. Let's put this back together. No need to get all bent out of shape, Brian. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> this is like 50 horsepower in a box. 
plug it into here. You're like the Bob Ross of cars. Hey. You know how many times I've heard that crap? <laughs> Have you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like every other video. Oh, sorry. Usually it's a backhanded, <laughs> you're a douchebag comment, but no. boom, works. Okay. Let's do one of these. Let's take that up. One of my favorite things in the world is to take off like the cellophane that's on things. I know. Isn't that, that, that clingy, that clingy plastic? Yeah. Do you know people that like leave that on things? Ugh. I know. Yeah. My my bookkeeper does that on purpose just much, to annoy me. How much does that bother you? Yeah. Drives much. me nuts. Uh oh. Firmware not found. I just loaded. I loaded it earlier. You plugged into the right port. Yep. Stay tuned. All right, let me go get my laptop. This is bad news. This is how it goes, Brian. This is when I start to get, woe is me, and why don't I do this? And I'm freaking stupid. Just don't do this kind of crap. Can you imagine if you just had a, a uh, somebody film you all the time, and you never had to do any of it? It would be fantastic, yeah, wouldn't it? Never had to edit it, anything. It says firmware not found on SD card. Well, here's an SD card. But where would the SD card go? In it. Where? Inside it. Take these little screws off. I think. Hey, wait, wait a second. There's a... Right there. Depress it. It'll pop out. Little four megabyte, four... Four gigabyte little card came in the box. So let's just put it in the computer and see what's on this sucker. Firmware's here. There's my custom tune right there. Two fakes. It's probably in the wrong folder. I didn't touch any of this stuff and it worked before. Boom. Tuning. Vehicle info. Turn key on. Continue. Load tune. Select tune to load one of two. Axial normal one of two. Enter. Yes. Initializing communication. So what it does is it pulls the stock out, you know, the stock configuration off onto here on the memory card. And then it will flash or you know or overwrite that stock calibration, so I'll easily be able to go back to the to the stock tune. Um, now you know what some people will do is mount this thing to the to the windshield. I'm not going to do that. It also as a gauge gives you things like air fuel ratio, things like that, if you really wanted to do it or or capture the data, data log it. And part of the reason why I wanted to do a LUN tune is just a quick out of the box thing. Like I don't want to monitor anything. I just want to plug it in and pretend like everything's good and hope that it is. I accidentally just, when I was turning the wheel, I started the thing up, and you hear the thing idle and all funny as crazy. Just that little change in the intake will throw this thing way off. You know, if this does take a while, uh, I'll, you know, one of the things that, when you're doing tunes on a lot of cars, they suggest that you, you hook up the, uh, you know, like a battery charger so you don't kill the battery, but I don't think this is gonna take that long. On my E92 M3, it took like, I don't know, like an hour or something like that. So you have to plug it into a battery charger and tender. What the heck is this thing? Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. Isn't yeah. that fancy? Nothing like finding a new secret compartment.
Oh, there's the trunk pop too. I didn't even know that was there either. This is great. You can hide all kinds of cool stuff in there. Well, this is a this is a Ford, so that's your that's your drug compartment. <laughs> that's where you keep your cocaine. Cocaine isn't that a little fancy for Ford? Yeah. It'd be more like crack. <laughs> right, I guess. I don't really know the difference. Yeah. Boom. Downloading modules. These seats are brutally uncomfortable. Are you gonna replace them? No. No? Why not? I don't want all the headaches to come with it. Although I am doing freaking tune to the car. Ay, ay, ay. What do I get myself into in this world? Could you just like re? Could you just like replace the cushions with different foam and like re upholster them? Yeah, but then they'd be all saggy. I don't know. I bet you could. I bet you there's a kit for that. There's got to be. I mean, there's got to be big dudes who like these cars, bigger than you. They do make them bigger. Those dudes don't get the these seats. They get the other seats. Oh, what? There's another option. There's le the leather interior, which I think is just doesn't really suit this car. It does, it does, if you're me and you have kids urinating all over everything all the time. Urinating? Yeah. That's what happens. Kids just urinate all over everything. <laughs> Always. It's like my cats. Yeah. Oh, that is true. Yeah, you're going to have cat urine smell all over your property here pretty soon. Hey, as long as it gets rid of mice, I'm down. How do you like my idea to uh, bid a uh, leave clause at a, uh, at a charity event? I think that's, uh, yeah, so go ahead and describe it for the audience, how this works. So I went to a charity event for a, for a friend of our, mutual friend of ours, right? And um, it was pretty much my freaking nightmare. Last year I didn't go. I just kind of skipped out of it. This year I went. Michelle had, and, uh, and Ryan had strep throat, so now I'm on my own. And I was there and I was looking for my exit strategy from the second I walked in the door. And so I came up with this philosophy while I'm sitting there, you know, surfing the internet, being antisocial. And if they had, like, if they wanted to raise some money, what they could do is auction off, like, it, the ability to leave. Like, you know, make a joke that nobody really wants to be here, ha ha. And we're gonna start the bidding at, you know, $200 for someone who gets to walk right out right now. <laughs> And I said, I've made a thousand bucks to get the heck out of there right there that minute. So that was the thought. I thought it was genius. Yeah, it would be the only way they could get anything out of you since you didn't buy anything else. I bought two things. What did you buy? I bought Disney tickets. Jeep. Tune. Install successfully. Turn the key off for 10 seconds, then start the vehicle. Pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor. 